he's pretty much a mom. Because I actually, I, I mean, I didn't really know much about his represent about him as a person and stuff. I just the voice, his initial voice he had with his wife. I thought he was an okay person. I actually, I didn't watch the show that much, but I mean, I heard it was a pretty good show. I'm pretty sure a lot of people, you know, once once all the stuff happened, like even though it had nothing to do with his professional life, it still kind of crushed. Yeah. It's my first time if you look at like, I was like, like Chris Brown or R. Kelly, like they make good music, but you know what what they did in their personal life is you know crossed over to their career, so they lost you know a lot of respect for a lot. Of, they, a lot of people lost respect for them for you know yeah what they've done. And R. Kelly lost his freedom, basically. Things still in Marion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
about, you know, not to mention his personal life. I mean, the, the two kids they've got that he can't have access to because of his foolishness, uh, the children who he has with his former wives, who God only knows what they're thinking. I mean, if anybody's grown up in a household with a drug addict or an alcoholic, that affects you, whether you're in that living with them or not living with them, it affects you in some way or another. So his reputation.
weird situation. Like, you know, we all know what, what he did, but I feel like, you know, it will, no one will ever forget, but like he's doing a lot of good things now. He's doing a lot of charity work. He's, you know, he's back in the NFL. Um, and I mean, the more good things he does will kind of like, and, and even time is actually a big thing. If anything, yeah. Yeah. It's not like 10 years from now, we probably will still know, but it's like, we'll be like, yo, he's the, you know, dog killer. Right. It's like the time is a big, big, big thing. It's just, you just have to keep doing good things and, you know, and kind of like, you know, you like filter out that bad thing you did. It's like kind of time go by. And yeah. And so are you continually building towards that new reputation or reinforcing what's good about you or are you continually feeding that bad reputation? The, the reframe, the thing is that these things hang over you forever because you did hang over him. Um, when Arnold Schwarzenegger was running for the governor, the idea that he had uh, grabbed someone's boobs or something, yeah. you know, but he had vouchers from other women right. that counterbalanced it. But it didn't stop these guys from going on to be successful. So although it was always something still able to move forward. I'm curious about how they handle when someone brings up, so tell me about the dog they fit. You know, yeah. <laughs> when someone wants to go revisit mm-hmm. the mistake, right. how people do that. So. Yeah. And again, that's shown through time. You know, we'll, we'll see five years from now how he responds to it as opposed to how he responds to it now. Is there a recommendation about just generally, you've made a mistake and now you need to keep doing these things or do you either already have these good people in your corner going to rehab, or you're stepping away from power, you're apologizing. Mm-hmm. So, is there, as far as the actual question, is there any recommendation? First of all, with diplomacy, never excuse or explain. So, yeah. yeah. Well, well, acknowledge it. To, right. right. To, to, to me, it's right. But excuse. don't excuse yourself, and don't explain yourself. Now say, yeah, I did it. Yeah. And it's there. something or you uh, you know you said something 
to wrap this up, I want to talk about just uh, three, three tips, and a lot of them just comes from my childhood. <laughs> you know?
works the same in terms 